Hey guys, welcome to my 36 weeks pregnancy update vlog. Um, so in my baby center app on my phone here, it says your baby is still packing on the pounds at the rate of about an ounce a day. He or she now weighs almost six pounds and is more than 18 and a half inches long, about the size of a head of so romaine lettuce. So of course I got lettuce. my handy dandy notebook here. Um, so basically now I see my OB slash doctor every single week. Um, because I'm getting closer and closer to my due date, so my appointments are every single week now, so um, it's not every two weeks anymore. Every single week I have a doctor's appointment now, and we only have four more weeks to go, which is so crazy to me because time is flying by. Um, Al and I packed our hospital bag already and we're pretty much all set and ready to go. We even um, installed Karis's little car seat in our car and also we have a baby and car sticker on our car now so it's feeling a little bit official and everything. It's just so crazy that we're going to have um, a baby in the back of the car seat now so it's just crazy and I like to call it her little throne. <laughs> so we're pretty much all ready to go. So Karis, you can come any single time now. Mommy and Daddy are ready for you. <laughs> and um, so far in my pregnancy, I have gained a total of 29 pounds, which um, is still in the normal and healthy range, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, the 29 pounds is pretty much all in my stomach, I believe, because I don't really see much of a difference in my face or even my arms or my legs. It's pretty much my belly area, which is massive now, so I'm guessing all the 29 pounds is all in there. <laughs> and um, I'm still having cravings, and it's not anything super specific. I crave a lot of sweets and desserts. Those are my number one thing. I absolutely love cookies, ice cream, chocolates, and I wasn't like that before, but I still love my sweets and desserts now. I'm, I don't go too overboard or anything, just like after dinner time or just like um, a little pick-me-up during the day, then I would have a little cookie or a little um, popsicle, something like that, but I've just been craving a lot of sweets So and remember I lately. mentioned to you guys on my last pregnancy vlog um, about those leg clamps or leg cramps, leg clamps, what the heck is leg clamps? <laughs> so I'm still getting those leg cramps every once in a while at nighttime, and it probably happens once to twice per week, so it's not too often, but it does happen, and I absolutely dread it because it's so painful, and sometimes I try to like flex my toes backwards, and it just, the pain is so tremendous that I couldn't even flex it back, so I've still been experiencing that, and it's not too often, so I'm happy about that. Um, another thing I've been experiencing is called lightning crotch, if that's even a term, but Basically, it's like um, Karis' head is pushing down, down there, and it's like, it feels like someone is standing, pretend this is, like, you know, your V, right? And somebody's standing on either side of it and punching either side, so it feels like, like she's going to plop out or something. And it, uh, it's a little bit painful that I have to sit down, and sometimes it kind of like... Um, I lose my breath because it's just so painful and I've only experienced that like probably three or four times so it's not it's not happening that often but I have been experiencing that so I thought that was a little bit different and I thought I'd mention that to you guys because it's kind of you know a little bit scary but um, it's bearable and um, Karis now loves to move her hands and her feet and especially her feet. I always see it, I feel it on my right side, kind of like near my ribs. And sometimes she kicks so hard it kind of hurts that area. But um, when she kind of like just sticks her feet there, I when you feel my belly, you kind of feel like her little um, heel a little bit. It just feels like a little rock. It's very, very hard and sometimes it actually catches me off guard and sometimes it's actually quite painful but I do think it's like the cutest thing ever and um, I feel like she has pretty much no more room 
to like be super active in my tummy now that she's growing a lot bigger and I feel like she's getting kind of squished in my belly because my tummy has been feeling hard it's not like super squishy at all anymore because I feel like she's taking up all the space in there so she's not like crazy super active karate girl anymore she's kind of like just chilling in there and like putting on the packing on the pounds and everything so um, I feel like she's she's like you know taking up the maximum capacity so I mentioned in my belly. <laughs> that my belly was measuring small, so my doctor sent me to an ultrasound appointment and I do have a ultrasound picture that is the cutest thing ever. I'll show you guys in a little bit. And we got the results back and Karis is looking normal, healthy, and all of her measurements are looking good. So, um, I'm happy with that because I was a little bit worried about last time of how my belly was measuring small. I was kind of curious of what's going on in there, but everything, rest assured, everything is fine, so I'm happy with that. And we also got Karis's estimate, estimated weight in, and she right now is almost six pounds, <laughs> which I thought I, I thought she was she was gonna be a little bit smaller than that, but that's very normal right now. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, six pounds. That is, you know. Dang! <laughs> but um, she's at a normal range of growth and she's not too small or not too big. So I'm really, really happy with the results and I kind of like left my worries behind when I heard all of those good news. So I was very, very happy with that. But now I'll show you guys her little ultrasound picture. It's the cutest thing ever. I will never, ever forget um, just seeing her on the screen and everything. And it was just like... Because we haven't seen her ever since um, the gender kind of scan. So um, the la since the last time, you know, she's grown and everything. So it's just crazy how much she's grown. And I just, I just like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just like an amazing experience seeing your baby on a little screen. Because throughout the nine months, you can't see a thing. You can only feel her. So this is her ultrasound picture. And isn't she just the most cutest? She, the first thing I noticed on the screen was her nose. Her nose looks exactly like her daddy's, exactly like Alan's. So she definitely has Alan's nose. And if you guys can see in the ultrasound picture, she has the cutest, chubbiest cheeks ever. Like I just want to like squeeze it because she's so chubby. And she is just so adorable. Her little mouth and her little eyes. And honestly, this picture is just, it just warms my heart. And every time I leave it on my nightstand um, table and every single day I see it and Alan sees it and we're just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she's so cute and chubby. And we just cannot wait to meet her. Like that is like the cutest picture ever. I think she's sleeping or something. But just seeing her move her hands on the screen and just seeing her move her mouth, it was just like the cutest thing ever. But ah! So if you guys have been keeping up with our vlogs, you know that Elle and I took a baby CPR class and also a breastfeeding class and we learned so much and we're so happy that we actually took the time and went and now both of us feel just more knowledgeable, comfortable and just more prepared because this is our first baby so we have no idea what we're doing so those two classes just built up our confidence inside and we're kind of we feel more prepared and at ease at everything so um, I do recommend you guys if you guys are first-time parents definitely take two of those classes the baby CPR one which is so important because you never know if you're gonna need those skills and hopefully I pray we don't need those skills on Karis and also the breastfeeding class because if you do plan to breastfeed then you know you need to know the correct way of doing it and all the skills and stuff. They teach you everything. So I was happy with that and definitely had our baby education on. <laughs> and um, recently my sister Kim, Kim if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, she threw us a baby shower. If you guys watch our vlogs or even follow me on Instagram, you know I, I posted like a ton of baby shower pictures and she just through us the most amazing baby shower so we are so grateful for her and honestly it was such like your first baby you definitely have to have a baby shower because you know 
you want those amazing memories and it was such like a special day for Karis, for Ellen, for myself and honestly we will never forget it and I, for me personally and Ellen we will honestly like cherish that amazing memory forever and Karis when she's older and she looks back on the vlog then she will know how loved she is and everything so it was just a very very okay, sweet it's day. story time I have to tell you guys the cutest story ever so Elle and I went to watch Furious 7 in the movie theaters and you know that you guys know Fast and Furious movies are action movies so it was um loud it has loud car noises and banging and everything and throughout the entire movie Karis was non-stop kicking and moving in my tummy and I was trying to like I muffled the sounds with my hands I just put it over my belly where her head and ears are so I tried to muffle it and it worked a little bit but she still kept moving and kicking um, in my tummy and Honestly, I think she was saying, Mommy, it's too loud in here. I don't like it. So she kept kicking and everything. And then when the immediately when the movie was over and Elle and I got up off our seats and left the theater, she stopped moving and kicking. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like the cutest and smartest baby ever because, you know, it's so loud and she's trying to tell me something and she just, you know, uses her whatever she can tell me, you know, like to kick and like um, move in my belly. And I thought that was just the cutest thing ever because she's kind of like communicating with me. And I tried to muffle it as much as I could and it helped a little bit. So I just thought that was the cutest thing ever, even though it's a little bit loud for her. Mommy and Daddy sure enjoyed the movie though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that cute story with you guys. It's just I just, I just think it's so adorable. So now let's share with you guys my bumpy shot at 36 so here's my weeks belly pregnant. at 36 weeks pregnant. And it definitely looks a lot bigger now because Karis is packing on the fat and the pounds. So my tummy is definitely looking a lot bigger this week. And here is what it looks like without the shirt there. And don't mind the marks, it's from my maternity pants here. So here's what my belly looks like at 36 weeks. Like so. And I don't know if you guys can tell but my Linea Negra line is getting a lot darker. It's not too dark like I was expecting it to be but it's getting a little bit darker and it's still a little bit crooked. <laughs> and my belly button is sticking out a lot more now. I don't know if you guys can see that like so but it's sticking out a lot more and my tummy just feels very hard and very heavy so she's getting a lot bigger and let me show you guys this I don't know if you guys can see that right along there I do have a little bit of bruising on the left side mostly I have a little bit on the right but it's mostly on the left because I lay on my left side at nighttime and my belly is just very heavy and it's compressing kind of on the left side so I do bruise very easily so all that weight shifting on my left side is causing a little bit of bruising on my left and I'm also very happy to report that I have no stretch marks so far so yay me those that Aveeno I'm still using the Aveeno lotion and once in a while mix it with bio oil but I've just been lotioning up every single night I don't really do it um, in the daytime just at nighttime so I have no stretch marks so far but that is pretty much my belly at 36 I forgot to mention pregnant. to you guys during the ultrasound results Karis's head is officially down so I'm super happy with that it's the ideal position for a natural and smooth delivery so yay I'm so happy with that and honestly it's only four more weeks till I get to meet my baby girl Karis I'm so excited a little bit nervous but I just cannot wait for that day and um I just cannot believe time is flying by so quickly. I'm 36 weeks pregnant. I'm just like, it could happen any single day now. It's just like the waiting game. And honestly, I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of my pregnancy because I can't stay pregnant forever. So I'm just enjoying this amazing moment in life. And honestly, I have to say, the third trimester is not too bad at all. It's just... 
I was expecting a lot worse, but it's not too bad at all. And these nine, or getting to the nine months have been just very, very amazing. I can say that I love being pregnant and I definitely will miss being pregnant once Karis is out in this world. So I'm just trying to enjoy every single moment of it. And um, some of you guys have been asking if we're gonna vlog our birthing experience and stuff. And I'm not sure if we can vlog the whole birthing experience from like contractions, early labor to the labor part. But if we can, we definitely will because you guys have been a part of this journey since the beginning. So um, if we can vlog, I definitely will because I want the memories myself personally. So um, just cross your fingers that we can actually vlog in the moment and everything. So it's a little bit tough when you're experiencing contractions and trying to calm your yourself and stuff so if we if we can we definitely will so be on the lookout for that and that is pretty much it for this 36 weeks pregnancy update vlog I believe yep no more notes <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much again for being on this pregnancy journey with me and I'll catch you guys on my next vlog bye guys Mwah. love you bye